On April 5th, 1722, Jacob Rogovin discovered Easter Island. Jacob was a Dutch explorer who was sent to find Terra Australis and Davis Land. He planned the expedition along with his brother Jan Rogovin, who stayed in the Netherlands. Terra Australis was believed to be a large continent at the bottom of the map and also an Arctic continent. Its existence was not based on any survey or direct observation, but rather on the idea that the continental land in the northern hemisphere should also then be balanced by land in the southern hemisphere. Davis Land is the name of a phantom island. It was believed to be located in the Pacific Ocean near South America. It's named for the pirate Edward Davis, who supposedly spotted the island in 1687. The island was never found again. But it was believed at the time to possibly be the coast of Terra Australis. The goal of the expedition wasn't just an attempt to discover new land, though. It was to open a western trade route to the Spice Islands. Instead of finding what we now know as Antarctica, he found Easter Island. And it became known as Easter Island simply because he landed there on Easter Sunday. Easter Island, otherwise known as Rapa Nui, is an island and special territory of Chile in the southeastern Pacific Ocean at the southernmost point of the Polynesian Triangle in Oceania. The island is most famous for its monumental statues called the Moai. The Moai were created by the early Rapu Nui people, and these are no small statues. They are monolithic human figures, partially buried in the ground. An ancient wonder of the world, as some may say. There are more than 900 statues placed all over the island, with a good majority on the perimeter. The head of the monolith is three-eighths the size of the entire statue, and each monolithic tribute weighed about 82 tons. They were about 30 feet tall, or 9 meters tall. They are made in the likeness of the ancestors who were considered deities and strategically looked across the island to their lands. By the time Jacob arrived at the island, the monolith still gazed inland. But by the late 18th and 19th centuries, most had unfortunately been toppled over. It's believed European travelers are responsible for the dislocation of the statues. Many had also fallen from earthquakes. The statues were carved by the Polynesian colonizers of the island, mostly between 1250 and 1500. Each Moai presented a status. The larger the statue placed upon an Ahu, the more mana the chief who commissioned it had. It's not known how the statues were moved across the island, though. At 82 tons, that was no small feat. Easter Island is a total of 62 square miles, or 164 square kilometers. From sea level to the mountains, elevations rise over 500 feet in the air. And by the time of Jacob's arrival in 1722, the island's population was estimated to be between 2,000 and 3,000 people. Chile annexed Easter Island in 1888. And in 1966, the Rapa Nui were granted Chilean citizenship. As of 2017, approximately 7,800 people call this island home. Here's a excerpt from the ship log of Jacob Rogovin. About the 10th glass in the afternoon, watched the African galley, which was sailing ahead of us, lay to wait for us, making the signal of land in sight. And when we came up with her, after four glasses had run out, for the breeze was light, we asked what they had seen. On this, we were answered that they had all very distinctly seen a low, flattish island laying away to starboard about five and a half miles off to the nord and westward. Hereupon it was deemed well to stand on under easy sail to the end of the first watch and then to lie to and await the dawn. This being decided, the necessary information was given to Captain Bowman, who was the start and to the land name of Bosch Island, because it was discovered by us on Easter Day. There was great rejoicing among the people, and everyone hoped that this lowland might prove to be the first token of the coastline of the unknown southern continent. Jacob Rogovin also found Bora Bora, the Maupiti of the Society Islands, and Samoa in his expeditions. These are interesting things with J.C.,